Thought for the Day for August the 8th. Today's readings, 1 Kings 2, Jeremiah 29, Mark 3. Today's theme, whoever does the will of God, he or she is. These thoughts from the pen of Brother David Corduroy of Melbourne, Australia. We all want to do the will of God, don't we? The Bible is full of examples of those who claim to do the will of God, but who fail to grasp what the will of God really is. Some deceive themselves into thinking that what they say and do is in harmony with the ways of God and is therefore his will. The principle we need to follow is plain, to read God's word regularly and do so with a totally honest, God-fearing heart so that we do not twist its meaning to suit our own desires. What we read today in Mark chapter 3 shows that many of the Jews, especially the religious leaders, were obsessed with keeping the Sabbath in a ritualistic way, creating for themselves the spirit of self-righteousness to such an extent it blinded their minds to what Jesus was saying and doing. Because Jesus healed a man with a withered hand on the Sabbath day, the Pharisees went out and immediately held counsel with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. Verse 6. They later made wild allegations against him, saying, He is possessed by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. Verse 22. It is highly interesting that there is no mention of demons or even the word devil in the Old Testament. Beelzebub gets a mention, 2 Kings 1 verse 3, as the idol god in Ekron. Human imagination about the evil spirit world had only come as a result of the influence of Greek philosophy when they conquered the ancient world before Christ. We notice how Jesus, in a sense, makes fun or ridicules their ways of thinking. How can Satan cast out Satan? Verse 23. His family members come to see what is going on. Obviously there were rumours circulating about him. They are standing outside. They sent to him and called him, verse 31. He is told they are outside seeking you. His response is very significant. Looking about at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God, he or she is my brother and sister and mother. The religious leaders had a corrupted perception of the will of God. We who have God's word so readily available, have no excuse for failing to read it carefully so that we know the ways and principles upon which God acts and so do the will of God and as a result are truly Christ's brother and sister and mother. Thank you for joining us for another Thought for the Day. Join us again as we open the pages of the Bible together, remembering that God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.